Hello, and welcome to Seattle Weekly News Channel 3. Today I'd like to talk about a topic that's very hot, very trending on the internet, and that is how to catch a woman. How to catch a woman. And there are six basic rules to catch a woman that if you follow, I guarantee, Jim Jam Gu, that you will not fail. And the number one thing is you have a handkerchief. And that shows that you're a traditional man, that you can always provide help for blood or for snots or for um, vaginal fluids. Carry a handkerchief. Secondly, you talk in a foreign accent when they see you and then they wonder what you are. They don't know if you're Irish. They don't know if you're Australian. They don't know if you're English. They don't know if you're from Timbuktu. And that curiosity factor will always draw a woman in. Number three in catching a woman. Hair, hair, hair. If you got no hair, put all kinds of product in it and make them think you got hair. It works every time. If you can't do that for whatever reason, comb over, comb over, comb over. And lastly, a toupee. A toupee will tell a woman that you just went out and spent $2,000 to impress her. Progressive haircuts always catch the eye. Thirdly, short bald men are in trouble because not many women will date a man shorter than them. What do you do? What do you do? What you do is you wear a pair of Doc Martin boots, three inches, three inches to your height. And as we just discussed, a toupee, a toupee, three inches taller, full head of hair, guaranteed to catch a woman. Okay, number three, breathe like you've never breathed before. And if you've just had an onion sandwich, and the fresh smell of the onion or garlic will tell the woman that you're a hearty, healthy eater. And this attracts women because they want to be hearty and healthy too. And you can show her by example what hearty and healthy means. Number four and a half. If you have an eye. Uh, let's say a, a lazy eye and one, one eye, uh, uh, and then your other eye roams back and forward. Don't wear dark sunglasses indoors. I implore you. And eye patches in style after World War I, and it's in style now. Don't be ashamed of your eyes. Number five, what to talk about. What to talk about, what to talk about, what to talk about. How do you break the ice? I say, number one, you tell her about your therapy sessions. Tell her how many years you've been for OCD, for impotence, for incontinence, for, for anything that you've suffered from, schizophrenia, panic attacks. These will always show your vulnerability. And in showing your vulnerability, you will guarantee to catch a woman. And lastly, what do you do once you catch a woman. Now, she's giving you a lot of signs. You know, she's looking and then looking away and looking and looking away and leaning into you. And, uh, you know, that's always a clear sign. And so when you hit these signs, you've got to take action in that moment. On a positive high point, you've got to do. And I recommend you drag them out of the restaurant Throw a $20 bill to the D and head to a cheap motel. A cheap motel will tell her that you're a saving man. Again, economics, that you're a saving man and therefore a good catch. And lastly, when you're in the hotel and the process of undressing begins and you have an unsightly body, say a big old belly that you've tucked in with a garter, all night long. Don't take it off. Don't take your socks off. Don't take your shoes off. Just unzip. Give just enough room to go and you go to town. This is Shimbinga from Seattle Weekly News, Channel 3. Thank you.